weiß Bescheid. Hello, I'm Pete. Today we'll be reviewing the uh, Microsoft Surface Book. Um, now I'm not going to go into all the specs and uh, you know technical details of it. I'm sure you guys who are interested in looking at this thing have already done all that. Um, I'm just going to give you my my outlook or my perspective as an artist and uh, how this piece of equipment will work for me and uh, how it might work for any of you other artists out there. All right, so let's talk about looks. Um, this thing looks great. Uh, it does, definitely has that feel of uh, quality when you look at it. Um, the only thing that kind of bugs me a little bit is the screen is kind of shiny. Uh, I'm not sure how that affects a lot of other artists, but for me it's not really that big of a deal. Um, at least it doesn't look grainy like my old Cintiq companion did. All right, let's uh, go ahead and see how this thing works. Um, let's see. So there is a button on this kind of interesting on the keyboard here. It allows you to, uh, I'm sure you guys know this, detach the screen, uh, which you could use it separately. I uh, wouldn't recommend it as the battery is kind of low that way. Um, but it does let you detach it and reattach it to get the use of the GPU and also you know, make use of the extra, the other battery in the keyboard. Um, this thing is light. Um, feels great in the hands. It's not heavy. It doesn't strain you or anything. The, the bezel is a little bit smaller. I did find that a, a actual benefit from the Cintiq Companion was the fact that the bezel was a little bigger and it, it allowed you to hold it without you know grabbing onto the screen and moving things around. Alrighty, so here we are working with it uh, the best way I like to work with it on. Um, that's with uh, the clipboard attached to the keyboard. Uh, and like I said, it gives you that uh, use of the GPU and also does give you kind of a stand um, so you can support it while you're holding it up at a better drawing angle which is definitely handy when uh, drawing on a couch. Um, but on the table, I usually like to just go ahead and have it lay kind of flat. All right, uh, let's go ahead and see if we could uh, go ahead and sketch something really quick here. Um, the pen on the screen, um, it does feel good. It doesn't quite feel like pencil on paper, but uh, with the shiny glass, you figure it would just slide off. But uh, luckily, that's not the case. Um, it's not like pen able. There is kind of a rubbery tip on it which actually uh, works pretty great. Um, as for uh, performance, um, there is a slight, um, what do you call it, like jitter if you're drawing really, really slow, but with the way I draw it, does, it doesn't affect me much, but for some of you that, that draw really slow or trying to ink really slow, that, that might affect you. I believe it's a hardware issue, not a software issue. Um, it's just Intrigue's design, and I really don't think that there will be a fix in the future. As for lag, um, there is a slight lag. Um, it's nothing crazy. It seems to be exactly the same as it is on a, this, at least the Cintiq, um, Cintiq products that I own. For example, the 24HD and the Companion, it, it, they both have similar really small lag. Is that going to affect you? I don't know. Uh, for me, it really doesn't. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but one thing I do notice with Intrigue's design is there is a zero to, to no parallax. Um, that's the issue where there's distance between the pen and the screen. Um, that was not really an issue for me either because I got used to basically just following the cursor instead of the tip of the pen. But if you're going, coming from straight from drawing on paper to this uh, Surface Book, uh, you shouldn't have any problem with just zero parallax. The back of the pen does function as an eraser. Uh, the cool thing is you do have the option to program it in other programs or to do other things. Okay, so let's get into the pen a little more. Now the pen does have only two buttons, one on the side and then of course the eraser button. There is no two side buttons, which kind of kind of sucks. Um, but I never really used it too much, but I'm, I'm sure it'll bother some of you. Um, it does feel good. It's not too heavy, not too light. It just feels like a regular pen. I do wish the pen was a little thicker though. The pen does run on batteries. It runs on a four quadruple A. Um, you could, I guess you could pick them up at drugstores or wherever. Um, they're not that like rare or anything. Another cool thing is you can actually uh, program the eraser button on the pen. Um, what I did was I did it so you just do a single click and it'll open Manga Studio. Um, you can actually program do whatever, open any other program you want. It is still a little limited though. You can't do special keys or anything with it. Okay, um, let's see how this thing functions under normal drawing conditions. Um, this is a project I've been working on for a couple days prior to shooting this video. Um, let's just go ahead and see how this works. Okay, one thing is um, the Surface Book, unlike the uh, Cintiq Companion, lacks shortcut keys, um, both physically 
and on screen, um, but there are ways around this. I downloaded a program called uh, Tablet PC, or uh, I believe, I'm sorry, Tablet Mouse, I believe it's called. Um, works great. Um, I'll add the link on the description. Um, allows you to customize your shortcuts and do on screen things like brush size and tools and whatnot. It does make it a lot easier for working on such a small workspace. Um, I definitely would recommend picking that up. Yeah, so painting the way I paint and draw, um, thing feels great. Um, it's just the screen resolution is awesome. That whole, I believe it's almost 2K, if not 2K, um, and it does have a better resolution than the Cintiq Companion, and there is no graininess. Uh, everything runs smooth. The GPU does help. Um, unfortunately, Manga Studio doesn't support the GPU, um, but in other cases, like editing this video, it does help things move along a lot quicker. Okay, so how does this work being a portable device on the couch, for example? Uh, works great. Like I said, the keyboard does act as a stand. Now you can't like rest all your weight on it, but with the support of, say, your left hand, it, it does help out. It doesn't give you any strain. It's not heavy. It doesn't fall down. Um, works great from the couch on the table. I think pretty much anywhere. Now, this is a great piece of machinery, um, but there are some issues, um, one of which kind of bugs me a little bit and I didn't find out till after I already purchased it, um, and that's the, the battery drain during sleep. I believe it's a Windows 10 issue and it goes across all devices. It's not necessarily on the Surface Book or any of the Surface products. I've seen reports of it on Lenovo and on Asus or Asus. Um, just something that I think uh, Microsoft needs to fix. I believe it's with uh, connected standby causes this issue. To me, it's not that big of a deal. I just put this bad boy to, uh, I just shut down fully. Um, some people recommend putting in Hibernate. Um, I'm still a little weary about that because, you know, I have an SSD drive. I don't like killing things too fast, but I heard, I heard that it actually doesn't make that much of a difference on us. So it's really up to your preference, but it is something I do want to warn you guys about. Um, cause I, like I said, uh, on all the other reviews I saw, I, I didn't see anything about it and did not know it existed. All right. So, so what would I rate the surface book? Well, after using it now for about a couple months here, I would give it about an eight out of 10. I would say, um, is it greater than, than Wacom? I'm sorry, Wacom's technology. Um, I would say no, it's close. Um, Intrig has come a long way and they have a little more ways to go. Um, but the resolution is great. It functions great. Um, it's light. It's definitely lighter than a Cintiq Companion. Um, I, I think it's an all-around great machine, especially if you're an artist. I, I, I would recommend it. Um, the battery issues do bug me a little bit, but I'm sure Microsoft will release a patch. I hear they, they have it in mind to, to fix that issue, which is good, but, you know, actions do speak louder than words. It'd be nice to see that. Um, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching my video. This is my first review video, and um, sorry, it sounds a little shitty. I couldn't get my microphone to work, so I'm using a headphone mic. Um, but thanks. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page and uh, check out some of my other artwork.